Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about Rescuezilla and how hibernation of Windows prevents hard disk cloning. I recently made a video here uh, or blog post as well. Uh, link is below in the video description, how to move Windows to a larger SSD with Rescuezilla. However, this does not work if Windows is in hibernation. And in that case, you get this error message here, Windows is hibernated, refused to mount during the process. Well, the easiest way is to shut down Windows without the hibernation feature. However, I recently got the question, okay, Windows is not booting anymore and the hibernation was enabled. How can I access my data and clone the hard disk? And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Okay, let's get started. Uh, I'm here connected to my computer. Windows is running. Uh, it's a German version of Windows. So let's shut down Windows here with the hibernation feature enabled. In Germany, this is called a Ruhezustand. Um, but uh, in English Windows, this should be hibernation. Uh, if, you, if your Windows is running and you want to do that and you get this error message, just restart the computer and turn it off while uh, the BIOS setup screen is there or shut down the computer hitting the shift key. This will prevent quick start feature and also the hibernation and you should not run into this problem. So this problem is usually if you your Windows cannot boot anymore and you cannot disable the hibernation feature. So in my case here, I will call the Ruhezustand and shut down the computer and now we will boot Rescuezilla. Okay, here I'm now in the boot menu and uh, my Rescuezilla system is here on this USB drive here and I won't go into detail how do you create this USB drive and how to use it because, well, I've already made this video here where we talk about all this stuff in detail. So have a look to this blog post and video. I will put a link in the video description. Okay, let's get back to our system here. So let's boot Rescuezilla from the USB drive. I hit enter here and we started with English and start Rescuezilla. Okay, here we are now. We are now going to clone or backup the internal disk here. So we hit the clone button and this will bring us to this wizard here where we can select the source drive. And in our case, this is the one here. This is our source drive, hit next. And now we can select the destination drive. In my case here, this is an SSD connected via USB to my computer, hit next. And now we can select the partitions and we will do not change anything here because we want to, of course, clone all the partitions here. One important thing to note is um, we have uh, selected this device here, Dev SDA. Uh, we remember SDA for later here. But if I hit, hit the next button, we get the summary here and hit next again. And then we are running into this error here where, uh, yeah, well, uh, our system refuses to mount the Windows partition because Windows is hibernated. So we cannot continue with the cloning process here. So let's finish it uh, or cancel it. Yes, we want to cancel, operation canceled by user. And now we close the wizard here. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Okay, we need to remove the hibernation from our Windows disk. So we open a terminal here, a terminal. And here we go. Here's now our terminal. And what we need to do now is here create a folder in which we want to mount our drive. So I will just mkdir, um, just a folder here named mount. So if we have a look where we are, we are in our root folder and we have this folder mount here. And let's switch over to this blog post here to see all the commands we need now. And the first one is this one here, LSBLK. This will list us all our block devices, LSBLK. And here we go. And now we can see all the connected drives here to our system. And I've mentioned before, our disk name is here SDA and our Windows partition is the bigger one here, SDA3. And now we need this partition here um, to remove the hibernation feature. And we do that with the following command here, sudo ntfs3g-o remove hiberfile. This will remove the 
hibernation file uh, from our device here and we mount it to our path here. Okay, let's do that. Um, so I will enter the command sudo ntfs. Um, now I'm having uh, sl small problems here with the English keyboard layout, but here we go. Minus 3g minus minus o for option and remove hyper file. Uh, hyper file. And now we need our um, as you can see, I'm still struggling with the English keyboard layout. Uh, now we have to name our device here. And as we said before, it's SDA for our hard disk and SDA3 for our partition. And we want to mount it to the path root slash mount. Hit enter. And uh, as you can see, there's no error, no output. That's good. And hit the LS key. And now we can switch to our mount path here and uh, let's city into mount hit ls uh, enter ls and as you can see now uh, here we have all the folders and files from our windows system and what we can do now here is for example we can use a file manager here to, in order to access our system here and um, let's go here to um, to our root folder and if I go here to root mount uh, I have access to my Windows system here and for example if Windows is not booting uh, you can for example copy your data from this disk here to an external USB drive and then reinstall Windows. Okay that's one option and the other option is to um, yeah, uh, use FileZilla, again, uh, RescueZilla, uh, FileZilla, RescueZilla to um, clone the drive. So what we will do now here is unmount the drive. We have removed the hyper file from the system. So we just do in umount uh, root mount in order to unmount the system. And once this is done, we can close our terminal here and start RescueZilla again. Hit the clone button. And then the same procedure as before. We select our source drive here, hit next. Uh, the destination drive, hit next. We will get uh, to the partition selection. Everything is selected here, that's good. Hit next, uh, the summary, hit next again. Acknowledge, and now the cloning is in process and we do not get any error message here. So, and that's how you can remove the hibernation file from your disk and mount it in Linux and do a cloning or uh, as I've shown before, um, use a file manager to copy your data from the system. And yeah, basically that's it. And yeah, as I said before, everything I described here in this video is also available in this blog post. You can just copy or yeah, copy the commands here from the blog post. Okay, that's it. Bye.